it looks like the surf yep. is kicking up a little bit down Yeah, we've had a few uh, showers of moving through Bolivar and, and now in eastern Harris County. It looks like it's going to continue to be a bit active until sunset, and then we'll right. see all of that die down. Hot and humid, too. Indeed. I know. Take a look at the little Jewel Positano sent this from San Leon. Surf is up. Storm is coming. Right about that. These showers and thunderstorms moved right down through Bolivar. Began to fall apart, but it's still fairly active. As you can see, I'll zip in here over to eastern Harris County. This one moving into the LaPorte area right there, then down toward Taylor Lake Village, and then on toward League City, some action. So it's not over, especially eastern Harris County. It will continue to die down, but it isn't there yet. So give it another hour or so. In the meantime, it's all part of this big rotation. Not a well-formed system out here. A lot of shear up to the north of it. We'll get back to Barry in a second. Temperatures this afternoon, well, it stacks up well. 95, 97, 96. Normal's 93. You can see our Triangle Energy camera right now out at Discovery Green at 94 with the north wind at 8 miles per hour in Galveston 87, northeast at 7. It's actually cleared up a little bit. They had quite the cloud cover, a little bit of rain there, but folks enjoying it back to it. So 90s, generally speaking, feeling like the hundreds with the humidity about 50% more or less, 106, 105, 108 in Sugarland. It's going to be the same way again tomorrow. It looks like hot and humid and it feels like numbers well into the hundreds despite a north wind. In the meantime, we've been watching between these two high pressure systems for a weakness to form. That's the stream that would really pull that system toward Louisiana. That's the current surface map. So that front is there. That's the weakness we've been looking for. So it's no, no matter a, a question of whether it will be there. It is there, and that's why all the models in the Hurricane Center all say that this system is going to move north eventually by the weekend into Louisiana. How much it will strengthen is up for grabs. Right now, maybe 70, maybe 74, but it may not get that strong. It just depends on whether it really gets its act together between now and Saturday morning. But 70 mile an hour winds are the forecast continues to move as a tropical depression up through the Mississippi Valley. Here's our future cast. It's pretty much in line with the Louisiana flood, uh, landfall, as you'll See? starts to form a decent circulation here as we get into Friday. That's 11 o'clock. So you can see a little bit. Still, it's not well wrapped, but it's there. And then as we get into Saturday and Saturday afternoon, that's 4 o'clock. You can see a bit of an eye. But again, it's heavy on the east side. Not good news for those on the east side. That's where we'll find most of the activity. American, this is just brand new. This came in an hour ago. That's right into New Orleans. So New Orleans up toward Jackson. And then we would see heavy rainfall there on the order of easily a foot of rain. It looks like that purple is 12 inches and maybe even more than that in spots. The European a little more toward Vermilion Bay, but it's also shifted off to the east. So if you look at all three models, it's anywhere from Lake Charles to central Louisiana to New Orleans. We'll just have to wait and see as to how it all uh, actually plays out. But you see, you would expect the heavy rain in central Louisiana with the European, and that's exactly where it is. So the impacts are for 58 to 73 mile an hour winds, a storm surge of four to six feet, flooding rains as much as 20 inches, tornado likely very close call for the Mississippi River. For us, I'm going tomorrow with pretty much what we saw today, a chance of showers, 96. 92 on Saturday with maybe a little more cloud cover. Just depends on where that system actually goes ashore. And then we're back to the July fry, 20% chance of sea breeze showers, highs of 96 all the way through, looks like the following weekend. But the Gulf, it's quiet by then, hopefully. But it certainly is a mess out there. Now, this is a system that's been a mess from the beginning, mm -hmm. from when we were first saying it looks like it's coming into the Gulf to now. So we'll have to wait and see if it gets its act together. Well, it's been a consistent message. Yes, well, there's nothing else, right? Yeah. Frank, <laughs> thanks so much. You bet.